Yeah, we're seeing here a pretty steep sell-off here when it comes to bonds. There's, there's so much optimism leading up to these talks right now. Are you just as optimistic? Well, I think the key issue here is that inconsistency creates low efficiency and creates volatility as well. And this, on the trade talks, we see different, we've heard different narratives, and there's a lack of specifics. Today, I mean, we see Trump think that the deal is going really well. How about next week? How, how about uh, tomorrow? Right? So I think that's the key issue here with the, the uncertainty. But one thing we're sure is uncertainty remains a certainty. Yeah. <laughs> right? So on the, under that backdrop, and we do think that it's good to have safe having investments such as U.S. Treasury and the government bond. So what you're saying is I'll take this opportunity today to buy it. I'll buy this dip. I would tend to think that, uh, again, adding a duration here right now might be a good option. Right. Uh, we were just talking to Mark Conan from AIA Group who's saying, look, that, that carry trade's still there, that U.S. debt is still more attractive because you take a look at the rest of the majors here and we're in negative yielding debt here. Do you stay in the U.S.? As, and, and is that going to kind of boost more uh, attractiveness for the dollar, for example? Or do you kind of look at more on the riskier side of things and head more towards Asia? Well, I think Asia actually is definitely attractive compared with any other DM in the world. And we're far from being in the negative territory uh, from a rates perspective. And, and particularly if you look at China, where can you find a, a single A rated country that's still yielding a 3.5% on the 10 year? Mm. Right? So I think that remains very attractive. And Indonesia is also very attractive on the local government side. And uh, we do think that the Asian Central Bank has more than enough, enough optionalities and rooms to, to support the policy whenever and if needed. And you do, of course, oversee a couple of funds, let's put it that way. Where are you seeing the most inflows and then what are you advising your clients, generally speaking, within your spectrum of, 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 of fixed income? Right. Uh, we've seen strong inflows into our income strategy overall and we do think that's a very sensible strategy to have right now for, our, our, for the investors. You have both uh, income from duration and the credit spreads. And in, in a world, again, with a lot of uncertainty and volatility, you probably want to have something that gives you a stable income. I mean, Asia dollar bonds have had a pretty good run this year. If you took especially the junk bond market, some still say the sell off in August is it was a chance to kind of buy on these dips right now. Are, are you seeing the same thing? We need to be aware that the credit cycle has changed particularly in China, which means that defaults is going to pick up, right? But the thing is, it doesn't necessarily mean that there is no opportunities in the junk bond market. You just need to pick up your spot. Where, where is that spot along the curve now? Well, we do think that some Chinese property, some Chinese property names are not bad. It's quite cheap. And even some Indonesia high yield is also quite good. 